Hi YouTube, Tom Covenant here with a look at how to kill moss golems in a more chilled way. They have an attack style of melee, combat level of 140 and a slayer level of 108. You can find them in the southeast corner of the Lost Grove using fairy ring code BJS after repairing the ring with 5 bitter cat mushrooms. The slayer XP per monster is 2408. So with an average task of 100, you're looking at around 240k XP per hour. So let's have a look at the setup. I'm going with a mage setup as they are weak to mage and I would suggest taking the best power armor that you have and don't bother with tank armor as you won't be getting hit. For my inventory, I'm taking two overloads, two super restore flasks, Fire, Air and Nature runes, a Ring of Vigor, an Enhanced Excalibur, a Portable Fairy Ring from Invention, and importantly I'm also equipping a Luck of the Dwarves, as we are looking for the unique drop from these monsters, which are Cinderbane Gloves. And at the time of publishing this video, they were selling for 30 million GP. So once you've tellied, select a marker on the southeast side of the minimap and run until you find the mob. Now it is a bit winding, but they will soon come into sight. And then what you're going to want to do is set yourself up fairly central to the mob so that you can attack golems on the outermost part of the grove. With a basic DPS rotation, you'll want to start off with an entangle on your target. This will give you 24 seconds to then DPS them down. This is easily done using a basic revolution cycle, but kills become quicker when thresholds are available. You can use Tusker's Wrath and Sunshine to speed up kills but if you're just looking for a relaxed way to kill these creatures with minimal outlay, then this is your best bet. Now if you're looking for a much quicker way to get through these kills and you intend on concentrating 100% on your DPS rotation and food management, then I would suggest watching my crew's video which goes into depth on how to melee with AOE using an ore deck coil which gives insane XP per hour if you could consistently gain these tasks in a row. One thing that's quite notable is that they don't drop anything special in the tertiary drops, but the XP is insane. You should have these on your preferred list and extend or use a legendary dedicated Slayer Aura to increase the number of kills that you can get which will then increase your Slayer XP. Also one thing to note is whilst on task there is a 1 in 1500 chance for the Cinderbane gloves to drop. These still drop off task however there is a 1 in 5000 chance for them to drop. As you can see, it doesn't really take very long to actually get them down and there's no real danger of actually getting hit. Now, if your entangle does not work and you will know because it will come up when, once you've actually hit with a successful entangle, it will tell you in the chat bar. So if you haven't, do not engage. Send another entangle until they are. I'm using Soul Split because to try and speed up kills, I've also used Tendrils to try and increase the DPS output. And then all I'll do is just run a bit of Soul Split to get the health back up.
The only things that I would pick up from here personally, especially if you're looking for Herblor, is the white berry drops and they'll also be dropping cads and lantadines. But apart from that, there's nothing too special going on here. But people that only come here really for the XP, not necessarily the drops. I hope you found this video useful. If so, please leave a like, subscribe and hit that notification bell for new content. You can also find me on Twitch and there is a link in the description below.